Hey guys and welcome back and last part we started creating this curve so now we're going to go ahead and I'll show you how to adjust it um, I already did a little bit but basically what you're going to have to do is if you go into your side view and turn x-ray on because we've still got our curve here and if you select that curve and right click control vertex if you go ahead and select one of the points and move it as you can tell it moves our mesh real time because the curve is still live okay so this is very useful because after you extruded you can still adjust the way this is going to curve and so on okay so this is how you would go ahead and play around with it more if you don't like the way it's looking I quite like the way mine is looking so I'm going to go ahead and obviously we are working in smooth mode so as you can tell if I isolate this, um, the end points are as you can tell getting smoothed so we're just going to have to go ahead and add some edge loops around here so it's not going to, it's going to hold its shape so I'm just going to go ahead into my insert edge loop tool and just add an edge loop here and probably add one here as well and let me just see if this moves correctly. Mm, I'm going to go ahead and instead of adding two edge loops, I'm going to go ahead and extrude that face uh, with an offset. So I'm just going to go ahead and select these faces by hand. Or oh, actually, I can do it on my side view, it might be quicker. Go ahead and select these, deselect those. And it didn't work. Oh, that's probably because it's the bottom one. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. That's my bottom one, so I'm just going to frame in and then hit the extrude and just scale this in and then go into my insert edge loop tool and go ahead and add an edge loop around here and now if you smooth that, as you can tell, that will hold its shape. So we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the top and just go into my side view, go up to the top, select those faces, deselect all of these and because I added an edge loop you're going to go ahead and select that um, so you're going to go ahead and select these manually so I'm just selecting these faces and we're going to go ahead and hit an extrude on this as well with an offset so it will hold that corner as well like so and now if I go ahead and smooth it our cable looks pretty good so now that we've got our cable created what I really want to do is go ahead and add one of these to the end as well but before that if I just go into my curves and hit x-ray I think I'm going to go ahead and move these points a little bit up so if I just select my curve and isolate that and select control vertex I'm going to go ahead in my side view and just straighten this out so our mesh is not going to go crazy so I'm going to go ahead and straighten this out a little bit that should be pretty good now I think, hopefully, now if I just come out of isolation mode and have a look how it's looking now, yep yeah, that's better. So what we're going to do is go ahead and select this object and duplicate it because I'm going to go ahead and basically put one of these on that cylinder so it doesn't look too boring and I already done this, I did not think I have, but basically this is just, oh no this is not good, I'm going to go ahead and uh, recreate this cylinder, so um, this is the low poly one, so you're going to go ahead and modify, make live, and I'm going to go ahead and create a cylinder, just so I roughly get the same size, I'm go ahead and drag it out to about that high, and that thick. I'm just going to go ahead and drag this up and probably scale it up a little bit more and then make sure that I undo this make live so modify make not live and I can go ahead and delete that cylinder 
I'm going to go ahead and move this to the right place. So I'm just going to go into my side view and make sure that this is lined up. And now I'm just going to go ahead and scale this up a tiny bit more, move it up. And also I'm going to go ahead and isolate this and select the top faces, deselect these. I'm just going to go ahead and hit extrude and scale it in. So I get so once we once we go and smooth it, it's gonna hold the shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and select these, deselect those. So now I have my bottom selected, hit extrude, scale, and scale it in. And then now if I just insert my edge loops where I need it, like so, and hit smooth, that's gonna look pretty cool, okay. So now I'm just going to have to go ahead and add these. So I'm going to go ahead and um, center pivot and drag it to the place where I want it. This is going to be roughly here. I'm just going to go into my perspective now and go ahead and move this by eye. Okay, so. Actually, if I've got an idea here, if we go ahead and isolate these two, like so, and if I go ahead and try to snap this to the end point of this, that's going to work perfectly. So now I'm snapping it. And then all I'm going to do is rotate on this angle so it can fit perfectly. Oh, nearly perfectly. <laughs> so I'm going to just go ahead and move this and just going to move it up. Got most of the work out of the way, so it's good. Like so. And I'm just going to go ahead and make sure this, this is sitting there correctly. And it's definitely not bad. Again, I'm just lining this up while I'm trying to. Let me just try this snapping again. So if I drag this out, select this vertex and snap and that nearly snaps in the middle I'm just going to go ahead and move this not sure if it's because we rotated it or why it's not snapping it proper properly but it's pretty good if I just go ahead and and isolate these and now I'm going to go ahead and line it up with that instead I think that might be easier so this is going to sit right there and I think we're just going to go ahead and adjust uh, we might have to add the we might going to go ahead and add the lattice to form to this so it will fit on that cylinder properly well that's looking pretty good now okay so I'm gonna leave that for now as that is and I quite like the way that's looking and I'm just gonna go ahead and move this so it sits in the center and basically we got most of our head completed apart from this center piece that we're going to connect the two heads together but we're going to do that um, with the neck so that will be part of the neck instead of the head so now what I'm going to do is go into my outliner and make sure that everything is named correctly and we're going to go ahead and leave that curve 
So I'm going to go ahead and name this back head. Um, what is this going to be? What should we name this? Call it plug. Uh, this is going to be back head table. This is going to be back head table uh, hole. This is going to be our cable back head table curve. Um, this is going to be our neck table hole. And this is going to be part of neck. So we're just going to name this neck cylinder top. And now we're going to go ahead and put these in the right places. So head back plug, going to go into head back. Head back cable, going to go in the head back. Back head cable hole, going to go in the head back. Uh, and this will go with them. Neck will go, neck cable hole, and these two will go together into the neck, I think. So, yeah, what we're going to do just for the fun is we're going to go ahead and now that we got the head roughly completed. We're going to go ahead and just for now, I'm going to go ahead and add this cylinder in the back of the head group. And now we're going to go ahead and duplicate this and go to modify center pivot. And we're going to go ahead and scale X minus one. And now I'm going to go ahead and move this into front direction. And we're going to go ahead and just move it here, like so. And we're going to go ahead and have a look how's our Wally looking. And obviously, you're going to have to adjust, <laughs> we're going to have to go ahead and adjust this cable later on down the line because Wally's not going to sit like this so we're going to go ahead and well at the end once we duplicate it over we'll go ahead and adjust it I just wanted to have a look how it's looking so far so we got our head completed and I think it's looking really nice so far so we're just going to go ahead and have a look around make sure that Everything is looking correct. And make sure that those are smoothed. They are. And I think our Wally head is looking pretty good. Um, in the next part, we're going to go ahead and start working on the neck and join in the two heads, I mean the two eyes up, so there's going to be a structure kind of thing that i got to think about how we're going to do in the middle, they're going to join the two heads together and then that structure is going to obviously be part of the neck, so we're going to go ahead and model this piece or pieces in properly and we're also going to make sure that this connects up properly to the neck so basically we'll have this whole top part completed and then we're going to go ahead and move down to the body so we're going to go ahead and model all these little pieces in and the arms and so on and then the other big challenge is going to be obviously creating the threads so i hope you guys enjoyed the series so far and i'll see you guys in the next part